Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Cartel Tycoon. Hope you're having a sweet day. I've loaded this up after being away from the game for, I don't know, about six days or so. And uh, I actually started to record this video for a good while. For like about good, good, almost 10 minutes, I think, uh, before I realized something that's happened. Every single one of my fields has been changed to something else. Like, nothing is growing what it should be growing. I don't know what they did with the update. Um, they've updated the game too, so I don't know what they did with that, but pretty much the only fields that are the way they're supposed to be are the opium fields. And um, they're like, you know, halfway through their cycle and everything here. But everything else is completely different. This is chicken now. I'm not sure if that was always, I don't think that was chicken. Pretty sure it was avocados before. Uh, all of my marijuana fields, Universally in the entire map, all of my marijuana fields are now coffee. I don't know how that happened, uh, but they've started. They've they've started growing coffee in a full cycle of it as well, and that is just crazy. And I don't know how to fix that because now I have to wait a full eight days um, on all of these fields. I'm gonna have to wait eight days to get this to actually grow what I want it to go. So very strange update. You can't switch the multiples. I don't believe you can't like right click them. Oh, I guess I can I can control click them. But even control clicking them, I can't change what they're trying to grow with the with the bulk selection. I, I can only do that individually it looks like. So um yeah, very weird. So if I was if there's any field I might miss, I'm going to go in and change them. Oh, but if you happen to notice that there are fields that are just like randomly not growing what they're supposed to be growing. Um, that's just because I missed it. It's not because I said it that way. The game just updated itself, or rather the devs updated it. And like all of my fields are now like completely different stuff. Like this is, these are supposed to be avocados, every single one of them. Um, and then if you take a look at my marijuana area over here, my cannabis area, I guess, you can see that even my plantations and stuff, they've all been switched to coffee and Thankfully, like this is 21 hours, 21 hours left, but there's just going to be an enormous amount of coffee popping here. And I'm going to just going to have to send it to the border and try to figure it out. So I think I'm going to switch all my workshops temporarily to coffee just to process it all. Um, but the problem also with that is, I think anyway, this area. No, you don't you don't like vegetables. Let's turn that off. So we're going to have to shift this out. So there's a lot of tweaking and stuff I'm going to do to all the buildings. So let me just fix all that. Uh, and then we'll get started on the things I want to do. Okay, I've, uh, I think I've managed to change them all exactly the way I want them. These chicken farms here are still going to keep running until they're done. Then I'm switching back to avocados. I've got some of the workshops going to be switched out over. I don't think I've done this to everything yet, but I've got some of them. They're all kind of doing diverse products. So chicken on this one. We got chicken over here, chicken over here. We got coffee on this one to process the extra coffee that we're now gro growing. Uh, and then these two are both still at avocados and um, I've done the same thing with other ones over here too These fields are still on coffee because that cycle hasn't finished and then they will switch to cannabis when they are done So very strange problem. That's that's a really weird thing to happen after an update, but uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, that's done So uh, what I'd like to do today is I want to get some upgrades to our smuggling operations And I think the river pier 3 is a good one to do so we're gonna go ahead and pop that that is gonna stop exports for the time being uh, it is now waiting in line at two uh, Positions this one here is waiting in line one position and it's gonna be a farm three because I didn't have that one up with Farm three so I did go ahead and did it um, So the construction project that's happening right now though. Uh, it's building right now is this residence. It's being upgraded so that it has more trucks, more capabilities, etc. So I'm hoping that that, uh, I don't know if it's going to speed up any type of transfer of money flow through here, but we have $314,000 in uh, dirty money just sitting here. We have, I have no idea what to do with it. Uh, so we're going to do a whole Pablo Escobar thing and probably just try and bury it somewhere. <laughs> we'll just bury it all over the place and um, we'll leave one person responsible for the locations. I think that sounds like a great idea. Just one person to know where all of it is. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be you, Amaranta. You're responsible. Tell us where all the your, your treasure map maker is. What you are. Uh, now, once the residence is done, this farm will be very quick. See, that's done, and then this one will start. 
that's got six days as soon as that one's done I'm also gonna do this one over here as well and we're gonna keep sending more resources into these river piers because they're actually quite good um over on the seaport vegetables are gonna create some terror and we're obviously not doing that now and then also they're confiscating chicken so we're obviously not doing that now either at least I hope we're not we are we have grown some chicken but um I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that chicken is not selected here because we did grow some chicken we did have some chicken so um these are all avocados and coffee on the way thankfully but we don't want to have things confiscated if we can avoid it uh okay so uh what I wanted to do in this video before discovering that issue is I wanted to get started on more advanced stuff more advanced materials resources whatever and um research wise I just finished I think running costs was the thing I was working on actually it might have been something else transport maybe granted temporarily I see I think I, I was just doing this um so I was going to do an extra transport company but I think I'm going to switch over and get chemical plant two instead because uh, we're going to need this to make the methylamine so uh $47,000 is going to get pumped into the chemical plants to start getting that stuff done now do I have I do not I do not have any labs either I was going to skip lab one and go right to lab two which I can do I think as long as I do chemical plant one and like uh, I have to do something I don't need in order to get the thing I do unfortunately so uh we can wait basically whatever's cheaper it's 18,033 so we can get here we're gonna skip chemical plant one and we're gonna go straight for uh lab two and we're gonna do that via this one right here and so we won't we won't bother with uh with this one since we don't need it um okay and then after we get to chemical plant two we can then go up to lab three oh well never mind <laughs> I thought this was I thought the chemical plant three was immediately after there's a lab three we will skip these entirely and go straight for lab three and then finally chemical plant three here here uh and that should give us the these these buildings right here specifically should give us everything we need to to make this happen uh we're definitely going to need chemical our workshop three as well because our workshops are kind of overloaded at the moment um at least they were now that I've switched them over to do to actually grow cannabis now that I've actually got cannabis being produced uh they're not not so bad so they updated the game they unfortunately didn't update anything related to the autosave being incredibly slow so that entire period right there of like 12 seconds is what I have to wait um but they did update how pathing works with these guys and I'm both satisfied and not satisfied with their change um these workshops are completely overloaded not nearly enough opium apparently way too much uh vegetables so I've got that locked down way too many vegetables also since we're creating terror you guys really should not be bringing it okay you're only bringing it to illegal sources anyway good well independent sources they're not illegal sources they're just you know we're not paying we're not we're not going through the authorities with those sources uh, so I, I need more opium growing I'm gonna get a couple more farms upgrading I think we'll hit this one that's waiting one in line we'll hit this one and let's hit that one's already farmed too let's make sure all the farm ones are upgraded you two and yeah I think that's probably all of them both satisfied and not satisfied with pathing so um they updated the game since the inception of this game, and I've, I've mentioned it a couple times in this playlist already, once you tell one of your lieutenants to go somewhere, you can't stop them from getting there, right? So you can you could click this button and say, I want you to go here, all right? And he would move there. Now, if you said stop movement, he would, like, you know, stop at the nearest, like, town if he was going through the town or something, right? Um, you could tell him to make deliveries, but you, cannot, you couldn't stop him from doing it until he completed it, right? At least that one trip that he was doing. Well, now we have stop movement, and if we click this, he will redirect himself to the nearest building and stop there. So you can't stop them on the road, but he will sort of, you know, stop that way. Now, I, I don't know why this bugs me. I don't know why it bugs me, but the choices they make on where they're going to go do not appear to be the nearest point to drive to. They appear to be the nearest point in their proximity. 
and normally in normal circumstances that is the same thing but I, I wanted to show you how in a situation where that isn't the same thing and uh so i'm gonna drive over here okay and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have this guy go this way to town all right so he's gonna head this direction now if i tell him to stop his movement he's gonna look for the closest place to him which in this case proximity wise is this building if i tell him to stop movement he's gonna switch i guess it's gonna be this building didn't quite get far enough he's gonna switch to this building right now instead of just continuing in where he's going because that's his destination he's now going to backtrack but he's not going to backtrack to the nearest building to drive to just the nearest in his circular proximity which means he's going to this one normally in any other many other most other situations this is not a big deal but in this particular case because i can't make a road here it means he's now going to travel all the way around to get here as his web method of stopping, which is of course way longer than just reaching his destination. And the part that bugs me isn't so much that he's going to do that because they got to find some way to do it. They got to find, you know, they, they've they've heard the feedback. They're got to find some way to implement this. So I understand that. However, you can't start him again until he reaches that destination that he's chosen. So again, there is no fluidity of movement. I, I really wish they would just leave the move at, and deliver or whatever. I guess maybe not deliver, but the move button should just always be selectable. They should be able to whip around and go wherever they want without having to be at a destination in order to give the order. I, I don't I don't see I don't see why that isn't a thing yet. All right. Is it a huge deal? No, of course not. I'm not complaining. I'm mostly pointing it out for the sake of saying, look, this is how it works and it works a little differently than before. And uh, I would still improve it by saying, hey, look, you can always tell them to move, right? Because if I was to say, hey, stop movement, I literally can't stop him from going all the way back around <laughs> to get to that building, even though really stopping his movement was really fast to just get there, right? So there's situations where that might bug people. And uh, yeah, anyway. That's what I've, I just wanted to point out that they have changed the game. They've changed how that works. And I still find it to be just a little bit, not quite optimal, but um, you know, whatever. They, I, they had to do something. They did something. Um, I guess maybe they didn't have to do something, but they did something. And um, you know, that's cool. I, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative that they've done something for feedback anyway. It looks like we're getting a little bit of loyalty by selling avocados, which is good because we're doing a lot of avocados over here. Uh, so I can't do these new resources going into meth, for example, heroin, etc. I can't do these things until I get these really expensive research all the way up in the, through the chain. Uh, so we're going to do that. And um, I could have maybe started some of it like down in here, but I, I wanted to wait until I just had the, the top buildings and then I didn't have to worry about it anymore. So we're just going to do it once we get there. What we'll end up doing is we'll end up shutting down a ton of production. Okay. I think this entire section is going to go. Probably all of this. I think if this is the place for cannabis, it's probably pretty good here, actually. So what I'll do is I'll keep the cannabis here. Um, I'm going to keep the cannabis here because these are like hot spots for that. But I want to take a look at where we could potentially do the hydrochloric acid. It looks like right along this area is perfect for this, which is great because we can get access to this highway and this highway for smuggling basically any way we want. We also need to unlock fully the Molino so we can send product over here. And so hydrochloric acid being really good through here is actually a very good fit for us. Um, this is also really close to this air airport, which honestly the aerodrome probably should get upgraded because I have a feeling we're gonna be sending a lot of stuff through that. This is not optimal. Um, I'm really disappointed with it. I wish I could smuggle more, but I kind of understand it. You have to go through, uh, you know, a public place and not be detected. So you can't just smuggle a ton of stuff. It's not like we can just send truckloads of the stuff on planes. So I get it. You got to send it through, you know, yeah, what's this? You guys should not be sending avocados direct. Um, you you got to send it through stuff like this. I, I get it. So um, we're going to pull these guys out of here. We're probably not going to use this airport much anymore. We're gonna probably going to stuff it in here instead. Although the slots here don't look all that much better, but maybe they are better, but the airports in general just aren't that great. Um, so I think what I could do actually is just maybe demolish these two, say that these aren't great, and just stuff everything through the river pier. Because now that the river pier is tier three, look at this. This can push a lot of stuff, and that's without Hector. 
like Hector's not even on a boat here anymore. And there's already five selling slots coming through here. So now the return trip is 43k. That's pretty damn good. And uh, we could probably push a lot more resources through there if we were doing it. So I'm going to move Hector actually over here now. And I'll go ahead, I think, and um, I want to really ramp up production over here. But I don't think I want opium anymore. Um, I think we can maybe get away with new resources over here. So, um, like, I might do the heroin or whatever through this port directly. Um, we have the precursor, which is great in this area as well. And then also the methylamine. So this area here is the chemical area. We're going to do it right here as soon as the research for that is done. To get Molino on our side, we need to send televisions through this. And we could just do that straight with just, just the televisions directly. We don't have to smuggle anything with televisions. So periodically, every now and then, um, I am just purchasing televisions from this consumer goods store. And um, as soon as I purchase them, every purchase is, uh, I believe, 10 was the purchase, but it could have been five, I guess. Looks like it's five. Um, every purchase immediately leaves this building. We, we don't, it doesn't stay in storage. And it goes through the trucks like this, which goes immediately to that zone right there. And so I just have to remember every five days or whatever, um, whatever however long it is in stock, uh, restocking. I just have to remember to keep buying televisions from here and then they are automatically sent to that border until Molino is happy with us. That's just how we're going to do it. Okay, these guys are our closest nemesis and they are not going for a close building. They're going right for the river pier, you dicks. I have to defend that. So let's go. Let's go. Polina, no, I put you here. I didn't want you on a plane. I, I forgot that she takes up a slot because Aerodrome 2 has that slot open. I've forgotten that. I got. I picked this as a centrally, a good central location, but I had forgotten that we unlocked the extra slot for Kapos. She's almost back though, so she's good. Um, yeah, these guys should probably help, but they're on a plane too. They're almost back, but this is going to be tough. I should probably not put my warriors in planes, huh? I feel like I've been told that in a comment or two, 10, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, I just like I, I set them there um, like like him, for example, where is he? Um, these two, you know, they're just managing the airport, but honestly figured I'd have enough time to respond. Kobe, you need to go. Um, I figured I'd have enough time to respond if they if they showed up. But these guys are very close to me. So Paulina, you're back. Get over here and defend. Now, these guys have 18 strength, so we are going to need more muscle here too. Hector. Let's go. All the way down here. I know. I just moved you away from that. That they took the opportunity. They're like, "Hey, they moved him. Let's go." Uh, you're slow, so I can't have that. You're fast, and because you're fast, I'm gonna have you race to here. And I think pretty much at that point, where all that's left is waiting for these planes to land. Here we go. Move you and move you here. Okay. So let's get this place defended. We're gonna start losing it temporarily. But we already have a 12 strength, and there's 19. So we're winning already without these guys even showing up. Um, I believe the research for military strength in Pier 3 is something that I should probably get right here. Power 3. And that will change the building power on River Piers from 2 base to 6 base, which is awesome. Uh, and then I can get more storage and, of course, lower costs. So probably work on that too. But I want to get the chemicals and stuff going before I deal with, you know, smuggling points, because I think the River Pier 3 is a really great uh, arrangement for smuggling anyway at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that on that side, because we're going to use that River Pier a lot more. Um, in case anyone's curious on different types of people who are available, I'm also going to switch you guys to legal money, just because you're moving around a lot. There, we beat him. Okay. Didn't even need Hector to come here. So you can go ahead and stop movement. And you'll just go to that building, which again, normal circumstances, that feature is is fine. There's just certain situations in the map where um, that whole proximity in a circle thing is really weird. I really wish they would calculate driving distance on that, and then that would solve every problem, pretty much. I'm sure I can find another problem somewhere. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I want you to go back over here. Like, I want everybody to just return where you were. I want you to go that way again. Uh, you... Honestly, I, th I feel like I'm just going to take down these, these guys, you know? Um, 
Oh, also, you might have noticed another thing that reset when on the update was my loyalty. It, it reset right. I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the video. It's reset down here. It was it was full before, and now it's like completely reset. So I have to earn the respect of the people all over again. Very strange how they did that, but okay. Uh, so let's see. What are we doing with this? You're currently packaging in coffee because we have tons of it now. 116 coffee. And, you know, that's... That's fine, I guess. Um, it's not something that they're confiscating, which is a good thing. We don't have a whole lot of avocados over here, so I think I'll buy some avocados from these guys as soon as I'm able to move again. Um, probably do the same with the other villages. Just buy a bunch of avocados and have them in there. Uh, and then the warehouses can go ahead and do the things that they want to do with that. So uh, we'll take avocados. We'll pay premium for them. So really ramp up the loyalty here. And uh, same thing here, really ramp up the loyalty there. And you don't have any avocados in here, so we'll go ahead and just ramp up the loyalty there as well. So huge loyalty bumps there because we're gonna need it. I'm taking down these guys. They're too close to me. And uh, if they're gonna bring themselves over to me to where, um, actually I will stop your movement because we're just gonna attack them right now. If they're gonna be this close to be able to respond that quickly, then, um, I need them away from me. So my only enemies should be people who take a long time to get where they're going. And that's probably Amadio will be the next ones to go. Uh, so we will lead from the front. Caesar, get in here. That's 21 strength is what we need to get. So we will pop people over there who have good combat skills. Polini, that includes you. Um, Hector, we're going to move you as well. Uh, Colby, he's got four. That's good. Uh, you need experience to bump you up. So we'll put you there. And then you will go there too. Okay, that's it. I think we'll get, take Sophia back to the town. And um, Hector can help too. Because we want to do this quickly. So I think we actually will bring both of you over here. So everybody go over there and wreck their heads. Now, while you're doing that, they're going to, the DE, uh, the police are going to do a roadblock. So I'm going to allow them to do that because I don't really care about the roadblocks as much. We just have to make sure we do the embarrassing story before the DEA shows up. That's it. So it's 31 to 21. Good luck defending that. Um, and then, honestly, you might as well. Just, just everybody go, honestly. It's, it doesn't matter. Turn this back on. Get that smuggling point going again. And this is able to do five now. Five boats without a lieutenant here, which is super good. Way better than what the planes are doing. Yeah, I think this has one of those slots too, but... I like the soundtrack for this game. I do. It's fun. It's, you know, it's... I'm not sure I would listen to it in my car. <laughs> but, um... It's fun. It, it, it fits the theme really well. Plus, I've just now started watching Narcos. It's a show on Netflix. It's definitely not a show for kids. So, obviously, if, you, if you're trying to watch it and you have kids, uh, watch it after they go to sleep. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a cool show. It, it kind of, um, based, on, it, based roughly on real events, uh, follows the story of Pablo Escobar. And, uh, you know, that's... Well, it's just, if you've never seen the story before, that's uh, I think it's portrayed in a pretty cool way so far. Anyway, I'm not very far into the show, but uh, yeah, it might be worth your time if you're if you're okay with uh, adult content. Let's say uh, you're if you're okay with it, then yeah, it's probably a pretty good show for you. Which which road are you blocking? Oh, don't do this one. This is like the one road I don't want you to block. Okay, well, good news is we can still go around this way. So it's actually not that big of a deal. We have multiple routes anyway. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so once we take this, we won't need to deal with these guys. We can then take this stuff and then our opium it can just be... Honestly, I'll just grow this opium right here and send it to the general. Um, and then anything extra, we can package it and send it directly here to this aerodrome. So, like, we'll, we'll take this area, too. It has some merit. Um, I, I, I generally like the... I, I tend to like the river piers more than this. And to be honest, I don't even need this region. I could probably get rid of this region. The only reason to get this is for extra washing points. Because our dirty money supply is, well, as you can see, a million. 
it's a lot. We have... We're running out of space to store it. I mean, I'm pretty sure this town here has... 81,000 in, in town there. So, like, we're starting to overflow to the point where we're just dropping it off in the cities. You know, this one here has got 46k in it. This one over here has uh, another 20,000 in it. So, we're just kind of dropping it off in towns. All right, let's uh, let this go just a little bit further. And then we'll go ahead and do the embarrassing story. Now, the idol thing, what I'd like to do is... I have idolatry already, but I think after it's done going down from the story, then we'll start doing charity events and we'll just pop it right back up and it'll be no problem. I find once you get to a certain point in this game, and I think it's really just... At, at the point where you have you have a million dollars in legal money, at that point, I feel like you've just won the game. You, you, you don't... It isn't really complicated. It's not really difficult at that point. And um, I sort of wish there was an end game to it that... I don't know. Like, at a certain point, you've drawn enough attention to where you can't get rid of these stars anymore. That kind of thing. Um, but again, I, I believe because I've activated, you know, no building limits, I have been able to snowball things um definitely probably probably faster than the developers have balanced it for and so I, I think that is probably the reason why it's too easy otherwise i would you know i wouldn't be able to do another transport company i wouldn't be able to have another you know residence and that that would make things more difficult because the money would overflow draw lots of attention all the time and start getting confiscated etc um, so if you want a bigger challenge definitely don't turn on or don't don't turn off the building limits i think is probably better uh, okay, so we're going to do this, and yes, worth the sacrifice. Go ahead and do it. And now we don't have to worry. This mechanic is really weird, too. Putting out an embarrassing story and all of a sudden all the terror goes down, that's really strong. Um, I think it's almost too strong. So um, that's something else that maybe you could, I don't know, balance-wise, if you really wanted to have a super hard mode with it, um, you, know, you just disable this, these events, and you allow terror to only go down over time and eventually you start having to deal with really bad sources um and you know your capo dies and you your organization grows naturally through other people and that would create a cool dynamic of the game you don't lose just because your capo gets killed you know you you, you continue the organization with someone else and look at this it's just ha has no chicken avocados please are we finally out of chicken is that what just happened Feel like that's what happened um is nobody gonna bring avocados here we have some in storage let's bring them in here come on let's go guys no maybe i don't have a route direct here try that i mean i figured this road was good enough but um try that see what that does also maybe some avocados from town there you go get more from town and bring them in all right pathos residence is drawing attention that's Probably just from overflowing money somewhere. Although I think it's a, these, are, these are old. Uh, inspect. Let's see it, what it is. Yeah, subjugated. So, Ijos. What did that say? Ijos de la Candalea. Uh, they are. They are defeated. But now I can talk to the mayor here if I want to. Um, I'm not interested in your pissing contest with El Vulcan. <laughs> in fact, you can put your dicks away because I'm taking over this. I'm taking over here in Fascani. <laughs> okay, so that's starting off really aggressive. I mean, he could have been your friend there, Caesar. Uh, let's see. So outside of the city of Fascani looms the grim specter of El Volcan, a military complex, and home of the Ejercito Nacional, the uh, National Army. I have no idea if I said that correctly. Um, Mayor Andreas Garcia begins to laugh slowly, lowly at first, but soon he is convulsing, consumed by an uncontrollable sinister delight. Hey, payaso, what's so funny? What? You think you can walk in here and demand control and those uh, pro-custines are going to stand by? Do you know why they call it El Volcan, mi amigo? Because that place, it waits, dormant. A sleeping giant. And then suddenly, the mayor turns from the window and claps his hands together like cymbals. The sounds reverberates between office walls. Without any warning, it explodes. 
Salados come spilling out of it like lava, spreading the curse of death to whenever they, whatever they touch, leaving only fire and destruction in their wake. And then anything on which the ashes settles becomes a part of it. A part of Elvokan. It's their plan. Slowly but surely, Elvokan will grow in size and influence until the whole of Fascani is in its grasp. You're the mayor, can't you shut them down? They have already grown too powerful for me. They've arrested the region's food production buildings and have uh, Salado stationed in the aerodrome. If we can take back from them, then perhaps we have a chance. Obviously. So it won't be to arrest the release five arrested buildings in Fascani region. So I can, you know, make favor with him if I want to. I don't need to, but I could. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to do, actually, is just come over here and take these guys out because I don't want to be uh, disrupted that way. Um, I'm going to leave a couple of enemy gangs just because like, if I if I take out all the gangs, I think the game... I'm, I'm going to be just completely honest with you guys. If I take out all these gangs right now, which is easily to do, uh, easy to do, uh, I feel like immediately the game gets boring. I'm just going to say it. Um, taking them out this easily, it's... It's going to reduce the fun factor. So I'm going to leave them alone, I think, from this point. Um, you know, until I've really got the rest of my infrastructure in place and I'm running out of places to, to launder money, and then in which case I can then, you know, start taking territory to expand that. But um, I, I don't I don't, I don't want to take, remove all of the, the gangs because I think that's going to be a problem. So we're going to put Polina here. So she's centrally located and can react. We'll put Sophia back over in town. Um, you are going to go over... Honestly, I really don't know. I guess we'll put you in that. That's fine. Um, let's have Caesar. He can come provide trucks to one of the warehouses to help that along. Amadia, you're going to come back over to uh, make trucks here. Uh, Amaranta, sorry. Um, Hector. Sorry, not Hector. My gosh, you are Nacho Libre. I have insulted you by calling you Hector. <laughs> put you over here. Um, and then we're going to say Hector... I want you to move. I don't really know. Like that's the thing. I, I, I the, with these upgraded, they I don't need them in there anymore. Um, I could just shove, shove everybody in the airport for now. I really don't need them anywhere else. So Hector goes to the airport. You can go to the airport. Um, you can go to the airport, and you, Colby, are going to go. Ah, uh, you can hang out in this city now, I guess. A little different you you get you have peacemaker i think so we'll have you hang out in uh in this city okay all right everyone has their directions off you go we're leaving fascani alone for now unless uh uh chapa chapa richa chapa rica chapa rica pretty sure it's chapa rica <laughs> something like that unless they want to fight in which case then we have a problem but yeah it is what it is all right, so it looks like we're not full on vegetables anymore, which is a great thing. The, it's, it's amazing to me that this single vegetable farm can overload four workshops over here. And I think it's, yeah, it's just because the opium isn't growing fast enough. So we upgrade all the farms to tier three. And we send it out as fast as we can. Just you all get upgraded gonna take a bit but once it's done it's gonna be great okay you see how long it takes for research it takes a while yeah. especially if you're pausing it with you know combat and all that stuff it's gonna take a while we are definitely going to need molino to be freed i have to keep remembering to do this where is it right here i must keep continue remembering this by the televisions like five at a time it's really slow I mean, I actually could build more of them. I just don't have any building space. All of my city locations are all dedicated to washing money. And so it's a little challenging to have any more of them. We're only going to confiscate chicken for two more days. Good for us. We can I think with only 12 avocados. I oh, have 103 coffee. Holy. We grew so much coffee and I never changed you. That's why. <laughs> Change this back over too. Uh, we grew so much coffee in that period of time. It sucks. This residence is going to the seaport. We can have you also... Um, have you grab from... 
Um, you know, honestly, I don't really know. Um, I can have you grab from these buildings. So this is dirty money management already. Um, this is clean, this is clean, and this is clean. So the warehouse, we're gonna want to select the warehouse here and make sure that's dirty money managed. Um, you're clean as you're clean as well. We'll have you also get managed by this warehouse or this one here. Go. All right, we'll have money delivered uh, to those locations as well because it's cheaper. You know, dirty money management saves us money overall on that. Not that I really care about saving money because I'm at two million legal. So I mean, I don't really care, do I? I mean, I or should I care at all? I don't know. Isn't it worth it? I don't know if it is. I can also make deals to make this even better. Look, we'll sell 500 units of dried cannabis. Go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so easy. Just to jack the price up to 300. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I just want the th I just want things to iron out. Um, I want the televisions to go to Molino. I, I want to start chemicals and I need to... I need to play on for the research to, to build up here. So I think I'm going to let this run for several, maybe even an hour. And then, you know, just letting it go. And then, you know, I'll get lab three and chemical plant three so that I could start planning out uh, the chemical stuff. And that's all happening right here, like I said, um, which is a really cool location. It's, it's It can easily get to this highway to go out this way. It can easily, of course, get to this highway, which means it can go that way as well. Um, we can... Obviously, from there, we can send it to that aerodrome very easily, this airport very easily, that aerodrome very easily. Lots of smuggling opportunities from this location. Um, so this is where our high value, very high profit stuff is going to start rolling in. And I just don't see a reality where we can wash that much money unless we have washing buildings in Molino and Foscani. Honestly, I think I have to take these two towns. Um, which the plan was already to take Molino because I wanted to build in here. Um, but also the money that comes through here, it needs to be washed and it's very fast. So we're going to need to get it in here to wash it very quickly. This residence is going to be a very useful residence for us, uh, doing that because it doesn't reach it yet. It's outside the range yet. But once I upgrade this, the radius will increase. And, uh, by doing that, it will have this built into it and it will have the city built into it. And so the money can be moved with that residence. Um, but of course, in order to take this, we have to keep delivering televisions, televisions, the televisions again. Yep. Right there. Just keep buying them and sending them out. So there it is. All right. Let me let this run for a long, long time. <clears throat> Maybe after he calls me, what's this? Uh, he's, he's got that thing again where he wants me to give him 4,000 and, um, you know, there you go. Yeah. The $4,000 legal money. There you go. Goodbye. Um, so anyway, let me let this run so I can get the research going. Okay, I was going to let it run, but um, I, uh, I went ahead and did these things for Andreas. So uh, the first thing I needed to do in Foscani was to basically liberate the seized property. That was 50,000 legal money. Uh, it was five buildings in a circle. So I did that. Then the next task he wanted me to do was to liberate that aerodrome. Sent Paulina over there. She made quick work of it all by herself. Uh, and at that point, this pops up. And it says, for the first time in recent memory, a non-military plane leaves from the runway of Fascani Aerodrome. The local people gather to wave and cheer as it takes off, unaware of either its destination or its likely less than reputable cargo. The mayor laps up the adoration of the crowd. As he leaves the stage, he is handed a small black phone. I did what you asked. Now, might I remind you of our agreement? Not so fast, mi amigo. I had hoped that wrestling away the uh, region's industry would be enough. But I fear more drastic measures may be necessary to truly free the region from the chokehold of the Ejercito Nacional. Why do I get the feeling that that involves more work for me? As part of the initial land deal, the Ejercito Nacional agreed that a representative would be stationed in the city at all times to uh, represent the interests of the army and the local council. With them on the council, I'm afraid I would not be of any use to you, if I, even if I wanted to. Now, if I, if they were to go missing, kidnapped by the fearsome cartel, for instance, well, what's this? Their leader, Gusonito himself, says he will only return the representative safely if the army reduces its influence in Fascani? Well, what an unbelievable 
Listo, listo. I get it. Dios mío. Oh my God. Okay. What is it with the mayors in this country? <laughs> so basically, he wants me to kidnap somebody in the town uh, and then only return them if the military leaves the, the city alone. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, and you know, as you, as you can see, military base, portion of grant, all that stuff, right? This is we're more than full here. We're doing pretty good there. And we have access to basically National Armony not, not, not touching us. That's why that is always uh, grayed out now. Also, I was able to capture that aerodrome, thankfully, um, without any, like, without this actually triggering, which is pretty cool. Um, I need to get my loyalty up. And so I'm going to just go ahead and trigger that. And let's go ahead and uh, trigger this too. Get that respect up. And then finally, we'll go ahead and buy a whole bunch more avocados just so we make sure we have enough. Uh, we'll go like that. Doing it with legal money because I don't care. You have plenty of, I guess, dirty money in there, but I, I just don't care. Um, and then at this point, money doesn't matter at all. Like there is no, there's nothing in the game I cannot do with money at the moment. So it, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll do the same thing here with avocados as long as this isn't full and it is not. So avocados, do it. There we go. Okay, so that should bring loyalty way up, and hopefully we can get here where the terror can go down faster. That'd be nice, too. Uh, anyway, these guys are on their way. Tormento de Polvo. These guys are on their way to here. But the cool thing is they have to travel all the way around to get there. I'm more than okay with this. So, yeah. Um, so what I think I might do is go ahead and take these guys out. Um, but I don't need to capture the city. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And um, unless I need it, if I need it for washing purposes, then fine. And in that case, I will go ahead and turn on this so that we can have money flowing from here into here. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, though, is I wanted to check out these other locations. And um, I think I'll end the video with this. It's just like, you know, checking out these extra locations because clearly we're not going to be ready for chemicals and stuff just yet. I need that lab done. And then I want to do chemical plant threes for these. So there's that. Um, so what I want to do is I want to talk to the indigenous territory here. And then I also want to talk to these guys right here, the gorillas. I want to see what they want and maybe what they can do for us. So the indigenous territory that's way over here, there's actually some chemical plants over here. And I take a look at the land. It's not particularly good for that sort of thing, um, but there is some land over here for that. I can grow cocoa right here, though, which is going to be nice. We're going to need that. Um, and it's a good place for coffee over there, I guess. No avocados. Uh, quinoa has got a couple of hot spots here, too. So I might be able to smuggle it out with that as well. But anyway, indigenous people, what's up? Uh, you look Gasanito. Life is a balance, an agreement. Everything has its equal and opposite that it cannot survive without. The sun was low and the shadows long when Cesar Garcetti met the Mamo of the elder brother. Where the road splits from the highway, the two had exchanged a handful of cocoa leaves uh, coca, coca leaves in greeting before starting the long walk up the dirt path to the reservation. A sin committed once in a while justifies the good. <laughs> I like that. Uh, muy filosofico. <laughs> I don't know how you say this. Muy filosofico, mamo. You, but uh, you're sure you're willing to barter your people's land for a sin? Two walk a few paces in silence, and then the mamo stops. You know, not too long ago, a gang took control of our farms. They demanded that our farmers stay and pay us far less than what the coca would be worth to keep. How could such a thing happen? Is the reservation not under the protection of Amado? I'm sure if it were his chemical plants, by Mare West would have... Oh, Mayor West, really, uh, would have all the might of El Volcan here to fall of Psy. Uh, here, the fall of Psy. Wow, this is whew, hard to read. Sorry. Um, how did you free your farmers? We didn't. The gang's members turned on each other, blinded by money. But I tell you this only so you can see that my people, their tradition, their prosperity, their protection, they are whom I barter for. You have my word, Mamo. 
every Gororo Goro <laughs> Gororo. I don't know how you say that. Uh, in the country, we'll see who protects the reservation. Okay, we need to take away 100 coca from the indigenous territory, and we need to deliver 20 dried can 20 dried coca to the indigenous territory. So, um, they already have 100 in storage. So basically, we need to take this, go dry it, and bring it back. Okay, that seems like it's pretty straightforward. Um, and you know, we could just commandeer their dryer. I'm sure they have one over here, right? Yeah, right there. We could just commandeer their dryer. You know, just take it away from them and use their own dryer and then just send it back. I think that's probably pretty, pretty cool. So, Paulina, why don't you, uh, well, actually, they're going to come and respond. Like, they're going to, they're going to want to, uh, yeah, they're going to want to respond to, to defend that. And since we already have an assault on coming, I'm definitely going to keep you there. Strength of this building right now is 21 and these guys are 13. That should be more than enough. Um, I haven't yet done the military research to clear that up yet, but um that's something i can look at later too uh so anyway why did the warehouse stop responding what's going on here no dirty money the problem with this location is that it constantly sends the money to be washed and i, I need that to stop doing that um so i, I kind of want you to not send it to here i, I mean I, I liked it before and maybe that's okay to send it only to the casino and nowhere else but the problem with this is I just cannot keep the money flowing here. It, it, even though it's 14 grand here, you always are immediately sending it to wash instead of keeping the amount of money you need to maintain the buildings. The buildings are not smart enough to keep enough money to maintain the buildings that are under its protection or under its uh, supervision, I guess. They, they don't do that. 64,000 here, right? So, I mean, I wish I could tell residents to send to other residents, but I can't do that. Uh, and now I've got auto save. So tell you what I'll do. Um, we're going to defend that really easily. Um, so they'll knock their strength down to 12. Uh, with that being said, Paulina can almost defend them solo, um, depending on what building she's in. Cause some, some buildings have as much as six strength built in. Um, so we're going to defend this really easily. Um, we're going to try to work on the indigenous people over here. Most likely that just means taking this gang, which is 22. I mean, the gang itself is 16, so the, the city's 22, but the gang is only 16. So we can send our people over. We'll try to take this. They'll come and defend it. We'll knock them out of there, and we'll just use their own drying racks to help the indigenous people out, which I think pre seems pretty cool. Uh, and then I want to talk to the gorillas. So we'll end the video by talking to this guy, Alonzo Venegas. Listen, Cesar Garcetti, was it? Uh, Commandant Alonso Venegas sits atop a stack of ammunition crates. The crates are stamped property of the Ejército Nacional. Great. Uh, a cigar burns about an inch from his lips. You can call me Capo, Commandant. We have no room for opportunities. Sorry, we have ro no room for opportunists in this movement. This is a revolution. And we need those who are willing to lay down their lives alongside our fraternity of peoples. You must be always a communist in mind, an activist at heart, and an anti-fascist in soul. Can you say that of yourself, Capo? I don't know about soul, Commandant, but uh, cut us open and we all bleed red, don't we? I think it might be Commandante. I don't know. Probably that. Venegas raises a brow... The end of his cigar glowing warmly. I'll believe it when I see it. For now, you can prove your commitment to the cause by bringing mis hermanos y hermanas some coffee and coca. Our refuge among the trees is technically sound, but at the sacrifice of comfort. Ah, so that's what he wants. So deliver coffee to the gorillas and deliver cocaine to the gorillas. So, I mean, we're going to make cocaine anyway. So that's cool. We'll, uh, we'll be doing that. And, uh, that's how we can get these guys. Is there any other neutral party? I haven't talked to yet. The indigenous, these guys, and I want to say that's it. Yeah. I think that's all the neutral location, uh, factions and stuff that are on the map. So we've met everyone good okay i will leave this video here thanks for watching appreciate it we're gonna let this run for a little while so that i can get the research next video we're gonna be setting up advanced production and we're gonna start getting these really high dollar high value stuff 
pumping that out um and also probably gonna you know help the indigenous people over there first probably so okay that's it see ya bye bye